Hi, this is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech. And in this video, I'm going to cover the Laplace transform properties associated with differentiation and integration. Before we actually get started with that, let me introduce some notation. If I want to take the time derivative of f of t, I'm going to denote that as f subscript with a 1 in it. And what that lets me do is if I wanted to take the let's say the n minus one-th derivative, I would have n minus one dots up here, which would be ridiculously cumbersome. But over here, I can just write it like so. Okay, so with that little notational convenience out of the way, let's go forth with differentiation. So as a little reminder, uh, if we take the Laplace transform of f of t, we just get capital F of S. Now, if I want to take the Laplace transform of df dt, what I get is S times F of S minus an initial condition, F0, little f of 0. And I can keep going with this if I wanted to take the uh, second derivative for whatever reason of f, I just get this, s squared times capital F minus s f0 minus another initial condition f dot 0. And I can, I can go all the way to as many derivatives as it like. So how about n derivatives? So then we'd get s to the n capital F of S minus S to the N minus 1 F0 minus, you kind of see where this is going. Oops, that should be a minus. All the way down to F N minus 1 at time equals zero. So finally I use this notation that I introduced at the very beginning. Otherwise I've been using dots everywhere because that was pretty convenient. Okay, so now let's do a little example. But actually before I do the example, just I want to point out that what this boils down to is multiplication by s in the Laplace domain, boom, 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 is like differentiation in the time domain. And you got to keep along some initial conditions and keep all that straight. But that's the crux of it. So let's go ahead and look at a differential equation. How about y triple dot, this of course is in the time domain, plus y double dot, plus 6y, oops, no dot, in the time domain, equals some input, how about we multiply it by 2. Great, beautiful looking differential equation. And let's say we want to take the Laplace transform of this whole thing. So let's start with this term first. I'll put it in square brackets. We'll have an s cubed y minus s squared little y zero minus s little y dot zero. It's an, in an initial condition. And a second derivative initial condition. And now let's go after this term. S squared capital Y minus SY zero minus Y dot zero. And now let's go after this one. Six capital Y, that one's pretty easy, equals two capital U. Oh, hey, let's go ahead and say that we have some initial conditions here, too. How about y of 0 equals y dot 0 equals 0? Those are easy. And how about y, yeah, let's make this double dot. y double dot equals y dot equals 0. And how about y of 0 equals 1? So if I apply these initial conditions now to this, I get rid of this and this and this. And if I also factor out the capital Y, I'll get an S cubed here, plus an S squared from this one, plus a 6 over there. 
And putting in my initial conditions, I'll get a minus s squared minus s equals to u. Let me do one more thing. I'm going to go ahead and solve for this y of s. And it is s squared plus s plus 2u all over s cubed plus s squared plus 6. The interesting thing about this is if I knew this function capital U, let's say I knew that U of T was a sign, sign of T, I could certainly calculate its Laplace transform and stuff it into that capital U. If I have that, then solving this differential equation, that is getting a function y of t, is nothing more than taking the inverse Laplace transform of capital Y of s. So we've converted this whole differential equation solution process down into an algebraic manipulation, manipulating some polynomials. Very nice. Okay, so that was pretty fun, but let's go ahead and, and look at integration then we'll wrap this up. So if I take the Laplace transform, or if I would like to take the Laplace transform of the integral of f, let's say of tau d tau, what that is is 1 over s times capital F of s. So differentiation in the time domain was like multiplication by s. Integration in the time domain is exactly like division by s in the Laplace domain. And I can do this multiple times. Let's say I have three integrals of f. That would be 1 over s cubed, capital F of s. Now let's just say I do something really crazy and take the Laplace transform of the third derivative of f after I integrate it three times. Well, I know what should happen here. Those, th those operations should cancel out, and so I should get the Laplace transform of f of t when it's all done, which would be, of course, just capital F of s. But if I go ahead and use my multiplication and division properties in the Laplace domain, what I would get from this is an s cubed from here times 1 over s from here, oops, 1 over s cubed, times capital F. And of course those cancel out and I get exactly f of s. Beautiful. Well now let's do just one more example. 5x double dot plus 3x plus 4 integral of x equals 2u. And that's of course in the time domain. So if I take the Laplace transform of the whole thing, like so, what I'll get is 5s squared capital X minus sx0, that's a lowercase x, this is an uppercase x, minus x dot 0, plus 3 capital X from that, plus 4 over s capital X from here, equals 2u. Now I could multiply through the whole thing by this s, and so there I'll get 5s cubed, capital X, minus s squared x0, minus x, or s, x dot 0, plus 3sx, plus 4x equals 2su, capital U. Like in the other example, I could solve for capital X, and I'll have 5s cubed from here, plus 3s, plus 4. And my initial conditions are, if I bring those to the other side, I'll have a 2su from here, plus 5s squared x0, from here, plus 5s x dot 0. And I could again solve for capital X, and I'll have all this stuff in the numerator, and I'll have a little bit of stuff in the denominator, like so. But the interesting part about all of this, this big beautiful expression, is that if I knew what my capital U was, if I knew what the input was, 
And of course, if I knew what all these initial conditions were, then I could go ahead and take the inverse Laplace transform of capital X of S, and that would give the solution to that original differential equation, X of T. So just to summarize, differentiation in the time domain is just like multiplication by S, and you got to keep track of some initial conditions, and integration in the time domain is just like division by S. So again, this is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech, and thanks for watching.